heavens have opened. It's getting very, very wet now, but it's also getting quite misty and drizzly, which is going to add a lot of atmosphere and interest to potential photographs as we move through the morning. But one thing I am dying to do this autumn, which I did a little bit last autumn, but I wasn't completely happy with the results, is um, do some fungi photography. Now, I absolutely love looking for fungi in the woodlands in this time of month, and in this time of year, should I say. And um, last year I came across some pretty incredible species and a lot of diversity. And I think last year was the first year that I really opened my eyes up to the amount of fungi, oh, I've just seen an amazing one, sorry. The amount of fungi that are in woodlands and uh, I really want to utilise that this year. So I think while it's bucketing down with rain and we're getting, you know, the conditions aren't the easiest, especially when I've not got an umbrella with me, I'm going to do some fungi photography. And recently I got sent this uh, portable battery operated LED light. Um, from a company and what I thought would be quite cool is to use it and to use its like blue and purpley colour options to illuminate some of these fungi in the woodlands and to give them a really fairy, mystical and magical feel. So a little bit like light painting but doing it for sort of, you know, artistical effects. I think I'll just add something and that was something that a few of you mentioned last year when I was doing fungi photography. A few of you mentioned that I should illuminate them with a torch or some sort of light source. So being able to do it with different colours today I think will be quite exciting. So I'm now heading back to my car to get this LED light and then we're going to basically use it to light up some of the incredible fungi that I'm going to hopefully find in this little woodland walk here. down. I think I've already said that but it seems to have got even heavier. It's quite nice to be able to come to a dense woodland like this when it's raining because it's allowing for a lot of you know contrast and a nice vibrancy within the woodland because everything is wet but it's also great to come into here and shelter from the majority of the rain. Whoa! The majority of the rain that's um, ongoing just now over the river itself. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to come and do this fungi photography and I've just discovered this beautiful Fly Longaric, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, beautiful, very fairy-like fungi beside me here that has really inspired me to, to do this photography today. So what I'm using is this LED light here which was sent to me by The Great Video Maker. Now this video is not sponsored by The Great Video Maker but as I'm using this in this video and I've never used it before on my channel I just wanted to explain to you what I'm using and sort of why I'm using it. So the good thing about this is that it's an, obviously an LED light. It's very good for doing this, you know, illuminating my face for the winter, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted this, is when I'm doing astrophotography and nighttime shoots, I can illuminate my face so that you can see me better. But another option that this, um, this LED light has is that it can change colour. As you can see, I've now got this beautiful blue effect and I can also change it to nice pink and purples and oranges and whatever colour I fancy but for this what we're doing today I want a nice blue light like so I'm going to use this to illuminate the fungi around me and create that mystical and magical feel within these photographs and do something a little bit different I think autumn and winter are amazing times of year to get out and get creative do light painting do long exposures do star trails they're so good because of the, the dark nights and, and dark days like we've got today to do stuff like this. And they're also incredibly exciting to do. So let's get on with the photography and see what we can create with this light in this woodland today.
given this is the first time I've ever tried to do this style of photography, I think I'm reasonably happy with how those shots have turned out. Of course, I've got a lot more to practice. I need to do a lot more practice, so I'm now looking through the woodland for some other fungi that I can um, try and do some other shots with. But what I love about using something like this is, like I say, the mystical and magical feel that it's given the images. You know, just adding that colour isn't just allowing you to add more light to the scene and therefore it's easier to take a photograph because we're in a very dark woodland. It also adds that magical feel to it and I think when it comes to doing stuff like light painting, you're doing it to be creative and to create magic and drama and interest in a photograph and add something to that scene that's not present without the light. And that's part of the creative process. I used to do a lot of light painting when I was younger and I think I will be probably reigniting my passion for that this winter because I've got a few video ideas that I can't wait to share with you all or that I hope to share with you all this winter. So for me this is a good practice to get out into the woodland to try and utilise the optimum autumn conditions and the fungi that we've got present just now to get back into light painting and see what creative things I can come up with. So with that being said, let's find some more fungi and take some more shots. to get out and challenge myself once again to do something a little bit different. While I think I definitely prefer, while I think I definitely prefer, I definitely prefer to photograph natural light and the natural beauty of nature. There is something quite exciting when you get into the darker, shorter days to get out and utilise the darker conditions and to play around with creative aspects of, of nature and you know, do things like light painting. It's, um, it's a creative way to open your eyes up to different parts of nature, to create creative and interesting images, and just to create a sort of fantasy within your photographs. And as I said earlier, I'm sure this isn't the only time I'm gonna be doing this light painting style stuff this winter and autumn as we're still in just now. Um, you know, I think photography is amazing. There's so many things you can do with your camera. And like I say, while nature ultimately and natural light ultimately is my favourite thing to photograph, there is something really excited, exciting about using stuff like this to create something that little bit different. Hope we've enjoyed this video today. As I say, it's something a little bit different from me, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I've learned a lot from doing this and it's opened my eyes up to a new style of photography that I'm sure I will do again in the future. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.